Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to install Zoomla 3.5.1 using LAMP on RAL and CentOS. Zoomla is a popular open source content management system tool which allows us to easily build dynamic website and manage online applications. It also manages publish your website contents like videos, pictures, articles on the website. The basic requirements for Zoomla are Apache, PHP, and MariaDB. Now I'm going to show you my fully qualified domain name. For that, hostname space hyphen f. Here you can able to see my fully qualified name. And now I'm going to show you my IP address. Here you can able to see my IP address is 5.64. For downloading Zoomla 3.5.1 follow this link you can able to download by using duplicate command for that duplicate space the link the zoom the package has been get downloaded now you have to copy the downloaded source file package to the apache root directory for that cd slash var slash ww slash html inside that you need to create a directory the name of zoomla for that mkdir zoomla inside the directory you need to copy the downloaded source file cp on the name of the file the destination location where ww html and zoomla and press enter now it has been get copied. Now we have to move inside that directory. For that cd where wwhtml zoom now. Inside that you can able to see the package. Now I'm going to unzip that package. For that unzip the name of the package. The unzipping process has been get completed. Now you need to remove the unzip file for that rm-rf space the name of the zip file it has been get deleted you have to change the permission for all the files as owner as apache and the root name also as apache for that cho hyphen capital r apache and the name of the directory where www.html zoomla and press enter here you can able to see the permission has been changed the user as apache and the group also as the apache now you need to configure the apache server for that vim etc httpd conf httpd.conf inside that you need to mention the server name you have to uncomment this line and here you need to mention the name of the server after that save the file now restart the apache service for that systemctl restart httpd.service and press enter now the apache service has been get restarted now you have to enable the httpd service enable httpd that service now the service has been get enabled now you have to verify the httpd is running and listening the request on port number 80 for that let's start hyphen antp space grep space httpd here you can able to see the listening port 80 and the httpd service now we have to create a zoomla database for that mysql hyphen u root space hyphen p inside that you need to create a database in the name of zoomla for that create database Zoomla. The database has been get created. 
now you need to create a user and you have to grant all permission for that user in the Zoomla database for that grant all on the database name dot star to I'm going to give permission to the root user root and identified by here you have to give the password sorry it is identified and press enter now it has been get created after that flush privileges the privileges has been get flushed now you can exit now we have to restart the MariaDB service for that system CTL restart MariaDB dot service now you have to enable the service for that system CTL enable MariaDB dot service now the service has been get enabled for configuring and installing of Zoomla you need to open your web browser in the address bar you have to type the IP address slash Zoomla and press enter here you can able to see the installation page of the Zoomla has been get arrived here you need to choose the language and here you need to give the site name here you need to give the administrator email here you need to give the administrator username here you need to give the administrator password and for confirmation and click next here you need to choose the database type and here you need to create the username and password here you need to give the database name which you have created in MariaDB after that click next if you don't have the FTP means you can leave it as blank and click next here it is the final step here you can able to check your site name and the database configuration after that click install now the installation process has been get started here you can able to see the zoom I is now installed here you can able to see the administrative login details note if you get the error message saying that configuration file or directory is not writable that means you have to copy and paste the configuration code to the configuration.php file in your site root folder for that i need to move to the terminal you have to create a file config.php inside the root folder for that cd slash var slash w HTML Zoomla. Inside that, you need to create the configuration.php file. Vim configuration.php. Inside this file, you need to paste the piece of code. So we have to paste the code inside the file. After that, save the file. Now you have to remove the installation directory with an RF installation and press enter now the installation directory has been get deleted now you have to move to the web browser and login the zoom now. for that i need to move to the web browser here you need to type the ip address slash zoom now and press enter here you can able to see the login page of the zoom now by typing username and password you can able to login admin and password and press login i have been get successfully login for logout click logout for opening site administrator login for that zoomla slash administrator and press enter here you can able to see the administrator login here you need to give the username and password and click on login now you can able to see the control panel of the website www.linuxz1.com here you have to give always for updating zoomla here you have to give maintenance here you can able to see there is no update is needed the zoomla version is up to date and it is already a latest version 3.5.1 thank you for watching